up and down instead of side to side. And then... What goes up and down? The camera. So like how ours, it's horizontal. On the 8, it's vertical. That's literally all they did. That's <laughs> they just moved the camera. And it was why? Uh, Better think, pictures? No, because they put the that wireless charging in it. So that you, however the battery thing, the charger sits inside the phone, they had to move the camera so that they could make it so you can sit it on the pad and it will charge without messing up the camera. And then also because the screen is end to end now. It's like a full, I forget what they call it. Uh, like it goes, it's a, like a wrap screen. So oh, wrap around being, Yeah, screen. so instead of it being borders, it goes Like an way. infinity screen. Yeah, infinity screen. That's is what that what they call it? Yeah, infinity screen. Oh, okay, that's like a pool. It. Exactly. Yeah. But And then the only part of the screen that's like not screen is the very top where the front, the eyesight camera and the speaker are. It's like a little black notch cutout thing. And what else? They got rid of a touch ID, which is weird. So now you do it through your screen instead of having the little home button. So there's no more home button. You just, there's no home button. It's, it's just, just all screen. All screen. Yeah. And it picks up and then they added that uh, facial recognition to it. So now when you want to use your phone, you just hold it up and it scans your face and unlocks it for you. Is that weird? Too? It's super weird because Apple, as much as they say they protect people's information, they're collecting a database of everyone's face. So it's like, wow. If anybody got into that, like, oh, let's see what Mike's doing. Like, here's his face. Find him everywhere. You know, like there's cameras everywhere that can find you. But uh, I think that's more of like a problem, like England, like Britain. I think there's like more cameras, there's cameras than people everywhere. Yeah, there's more cameras than people in England, and then. Uh, but that's just weird. But they're, I think they're going to, they have to do something about Apple Pay because Apple Pay requires the thumbprint or your fingerprint for a touch ID. And you can't do it anymore with the new phones. So how are you going to pay wow. for stuff? You can't set your phone down to pay for it anymore. Right. So they got to figure that out. So we'll see. Interesting. Very interesting. It's weird. They'll figure it out. That's the thing. Like Steve Jobs, when he was around, they wouldn't release stuff until it was like perfect. Right. Like he would delay stuff forever. Like the, what was it the 4S when it came out? And the antenna was jacked up, so like calls were getting dropped because your hand blocked it. They like pulled all those phones back, fixed it, and then put them back out. And the people who wouldn't turn in their phones, they gave like a case to to fix it. And now like every release for Apple is like, oh, it will do this eventually, but it doesn't do it yet. But we'll fix it in an update. So it's like they just release shit now. Like here's another thing that doesn't work right. Like that Touch ID bar on uh, MacBook Pros. Like, is let's, that a disaster? Let's get rid of everything about a MacBook Pro that makes it professional so we can add this little bar that you can like run your finger across and have a Facebook icon that you that can you click. never use. Literally, I don't know anyone that uses those that uses that bar, ever. And professionals, like people who do video, audio, all that stuff, they don't buy those MacBooks because it doesn't have any of the specs anymore that they need. Like the, the inputs, like, you know, the... You don't have Thunderbolt anymore, you don't have any of those, it's all USB-C, and then you have to buy a dongle, and then another dongle to meet that dongle, and it's just crazy. So it's, they charge the same price, got rid of all the features, and nobody wants to buy them, so they buy the older ones, because they won't, and they won't fix it, and they won't go back either. <clears throat> I bought an older one. Yeah, because it's, Obviously, I mean, it it, what I need as a professional yep. to like get in and out of all my devices. Yeah, and because you don't want to have to plug in a dongle so that you can charge your computer and plug in whatever you're trying to work on at the same time. It's taken away the convenience that Mac yeah. really built them their name on. Yeah, literally, like, I get it for, like, the average consumer. Like, put that stuff on, like, the regular MacBook or the MacBook Air. Don't do it on a Pro. You know, it's like a Pro is for professionals who need, you know, a massive power. amount of RAM, power, yeah, yeah. store everything, and CPU, and they're like, no, they don't. But that's, uh, when I used to work for Apple, that was the big thing is... Steve Jobs' mentality was the consumer doesn't know what they want until we show it to them. So they're like still stuck on that. They're but trying they're, that, but they're just not picking the right not thing. Not anymore, yeah. It used to be like, oh shit, I didn't know that I needed this thing to hold 5,000 songs in, but this is amazing, thank you. And then now they're like, oh, let's keep the same mentality, but you've already given people like all these options, and now you're taking them away from them. So do you think, I mean, I think they've made a lot of money this year already, a ton. Yeah, so do you think what do you what do you feel like this new phone is it going to be a flop? I don't think it's going to be a flop only because it's the 10th anniversary for iPhone so I think people are just going to buy it solely based on that. It's like a but, collector's edition. Yeah, it's like and they went back to the glass backs instead of the aluminum like they have been for the last like 5 years. So it's because, different, very yeah, different. When to do the wireless charging, it has to be glass, it can't be aluminum on the back. 
so that's why they did that. But there's always a reason, yeah, other than a, what you think. Yeah, and then and to get you to buy it too, because it's like, oh, you can have a glass one, and all your friends have an aluminum one. You're like, oh wow. I mean, I bought the product red one just so I could have the red phone, because I was like, oh, let's okay. see it. That's 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 the case, but this is the because they never released an S for the sevens. They're going to with the eight, but they released the so this is product seven. red. Seven plus, Seven plus red. red. Product red. But I mean, not alone. It's like, a pretty cool phone. It's pretty cool. But then I put a case on it, so I bought a red case because I was like, well, if I buy a regular case, <laughs> that defeats the whole purpose. But uh, yeah, it's cool. I mean, it, it's that the is the, sort of one of the biggest problems about phones is put a case on it. Anyways. They look great by themselves, yeah. but they're just dangerous. So I actually have the insurance. Is that a fool's game? No, I it's the to. first time I've had it, but it's because the seven is so expensive. Apple I also Care, have the plus. Apple Care is a fool's game. Insurance through your carrier actually is a good idea. I don't have Apple Care, but I have just insurance through AT and T. Yeah, that's what I have to because it's if you have the insurance, it covers lost and damaged phones. Apple Care doesn't cover it if you lose it, and it only covers it to a certain extent because if you break your screen you still have to pay a certain amount of money to get the replacement it's just less than what it normally would be. there's an automatic warranty on a phone yeah. from apple anyway if it's glitchy if it's glitchy for the, yeah for the first year for if you drop it you're screwed so you have with apple care the first year is like everything on the phone is covered unless you break it if you buy apple care you add two years to that so it extends the actual phone warranty for an additional year like the if it's defective thing and then it adds a third year for the protection part of it if you break it or anything like that but apple makes their money on it because the average person doesn't keep an iphone for more than a year they buy the next one when it comes out so they're making a shit ton of money off of apple care that most people aren't even using because it's i mean if you think about it it was like less than three percent of the people that have apple care ever use it so they're charging you $150 every time you get Apple Care. It used to be 100, now it's 150 because the new phones are bigger. Um, but now it's figure $150 even if a million people bought that. That's the amount of money they make off of that. And to fix the phone, the parts are like nothing. I think uh, the cost of an iPhone for Apple to make is $12.97. So they pay like 15 cents a day for the little kids to make it in China and then they sell it for a thousand dollars at their store so all the parts on it are cost nothing for 150 dollars for your insurance you're getting charged also for the research and development yeah but they put a high price on yeah that. they put a really high price on that but the majority of stuff is like just from being on like the apple side of it is they're so far out in what they're releasing that what you're paying for now is going to be their research uh, funds for like 15 years from now because what comes out like the iPhone 8 they've been working on that since 2012 and they knew it so they build this stuff like what are we going to do as we get there it's not like the 7 came out and they're like all right what are we going to do for the next one right right they're already they're all like, right. they're, yeah, they're, they're they just, have it. they're meeting out very slowly each accessory yeah. each everything well and they have to give new technology they have to piece. give their vendors a heads up on what's coming out because like for instance, when you jump from like the fives were like a like 4.9 inch screen, and then you jump to 5.5 inch screen, you can't expect InCase and OtterBox and all these other companies to just be like, oh cool, thanks Apple, we'll just rebuild our entire uh, you know factory to fit your phones. Like they have to have the heads up on it, so it's not like a quick little thing. So they know well in advance. They have all the specs, and that's usually how the leaks happen. Is somebody who works at a phone case place is like, oh, what's this weird thing that came out? <laughs> it's yeah. like, and then they like take a picture of it and send it to their friend, like, oh, this is for Apple, and it's a way bigger screen now. And then so that's how a lot of those leaks happen, or they happen in China because the people that work in the factories are like, oh, look at that, take a picture, take it home. <laughs>